Okay, hello there YouTube. This is going to be a tutorial for the iPhone, which I promised I'd do in this series, so I'm quite excited to have my first attempt at it. It's also my first attempt at recording in, hopefully, HD. I'm recording in the full dimensions of my screen instead of compressing it down to 800, so hopefully the quality should be really quite good, so fingers crossed for that. But anyway, the tutorial I'm doing is, as you can see there, I am on a Vodafone, but I'm in the UK, and you can only buy legitimate Vodafones in certain countries. And because of that, um, when you go into Winterboard, you have problems applying the theme. So, as you can see, I'm on Vodafone UK as my carrier. But if you go into Winterboard, which I'll do now, you'll see, and I've got a few, that I've downloaded loads of carriers and they won't work, and that's because it's a non standard PLIST. Don't ask me what that stands for because I just I don't know. But yeah, if you apply it, no carrier logo will work because it's not a standard one. And it's not that difficult to fix, but I haven't seen a tutorial for it, so I thought I would do one for you. So, the first thing you need to do is browse your iPhone. And to do that, you need to, if you're in Windows, WinSCP, I'm sure there's a Mac based program, but I've never used it. But anyway, you need to first of all get the host name, and that's your IP address for your iPhone. This also works for the iPod Touch, but I don't know why I need to do this. But anyway, go to settings, and then uh, click on Wi-Fi. Then click the little arrow to the right of your signal bars, and then it will take you to the screen where you can see your iPhone's IP, just there. So write that down or whatever, or you can just type it in straight here. So mine's 192.168.0.5. So I'll click put my iPhone back to the home screen. Then the username is root. And the password for a 3G is Alpine. I don't know the password for the other ones, but I've heard it can be different. So anyway, attempt a login. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries with this particular program. I find it can help if you open web browser, but uh, it's worked just fine for me. Right then. What you need to do is click just keep clicking up until you're right at the very root directory. Then once you're in root, you need to go to system, library, then in here you need to click on carrier bundles. There we go. Right. Once carrier bundles load, you'll notice that here are all of the stock carrier bundles. There's all these numbers and things come up as well. But you know if you browse through it you'll find all these. And you will notice that these are the all the networks which you can actually buy an iPhone on. So you can see there's the network and then the country. So what the hell ZA is I don't know. But you know all the ones here like you can buy it on Italy. Um, O2 UK, mine came on. Should be AT&T, which is the main US carrier. But yeah, you see all of them there, but if you've jailbroken it and then unlocked with the yellow snow, like me, you're not going to be on a stock network, so therefore you don't have a stock carrier bundle. You have an alternate one. And, you know, that causes the problems with Winterboard not allowing you to change your carrier logo. And it's not a difficult fix. All you need to do is, once you've browsed this folder, you need to locate the unknown dot bundle and open that up. And then wherever you got your carrier bundle icons, which you've downloaded online, the ones I got were these ones. I don't know if it'll let me open it. No. <laughs> but yeah, they're the ones I downloaded. And then you also get a modded PLIST. So what you need to do is get them on your desktop, drag them over, replace that, and then it'll copy in your two new icons. Which, once they're in, you are pretty much done. What you then need to do is restart your iPhone close this all down, yep, terminate, and then once you restart you'll notice that that comes up, simple as that, and you're finished. Um, it's really not very difficult, you can change it for any icon you want, you can make it look like it was any network really, I just, I like to keep to the network I'm on at the top, so I, you know, it looks a bit more professional, but yeah, there we go, that's how that's done. I hope you've found this tutorial to be informative and easy to follow. Um, 
I hopefully will be doing more videos in HD and I hope this one's worked nicely and I'll be doing some more iPhone tutorials very soon as you can see I've got a lot of apps so I can teach you quite a few things hopefully but yeah um, if you have any questions as always leave them in the bottom remember this works with any um, unlocked carrier bundle it doesn't need to be Vodafone UK it can be anyone at all as, l as long as it doesn't work with a swapped carrier bundle it will work with this so good luck all the best with using it and I hope that it works for you all so yeah I'll post something else soon bye